Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So, a bit of a different style video today. Usually I'm talking about and showing you how to start a successful dropshipping business. However, today I'm going to be showing you what not to do. So instead of showing you what you should be doing, today we're going to have a little bit of a laugh, I suppose, at some of the Facebook ads out there um, selling these weird and wonderful and wacky products. Um, and ultimately the sorts of things that you shouldn't be doing if you're trying to be successful. However, there is kind of like a double-edged sword here. So whilst I recommend avoiding what you're about to see in this video they seem the facebook ads i'm going to be showing you seem to be having a pretty decent level of success so maybe you have more information than me on how they're able to do this how they're able to get away from it um, if you've been advertising on facebook for longer than two minutes then you've probably had some ads banned and you've probably been a bit dumbstruck and thought how the hell do people get away selling products and running facebook ads like i'm about to show you now and yet just because you have somebody a face in your facebook ad or you use a certain type of wording your Facebook ad gets banned and rejected and yet there's ads like this that continue to be shown and continue to be ran and get shown to hundreds of thousands millions of people so that's what we're going to be doing today just having a little bit of a laugh and a little bit of a giggle I suppose at some of the weird and wacky and wonderful dropshipping products that are out there okay so Facebook ad number one then jumping straight into it it's a company called Young Guide Space JP if you want to check them out and um, this one was started on the 10th of January 2023 so it's not even a month old yet and yet it has 12,000 reactions we can see one of the most popular or nearly 2,000 of them is, are the laughing face and um, you'll soon understand that when I show you the actual creative itself 600 comments and two and a half thousand shares that's probably coming mainly from people who want to share this as a bit of a giggle to their friends and basically just like can you actually believe what they're selling here but before we jump into it though let's take a look at what people are saying about it so Yelena from four weeks ago says she got this sooner and it's a great little gadget um, this person here says it works really good and gets the job done um, the Sierra they've ordered one this person loves it this person's just ordered one just ordered one just amazing obsessed with the results this person's just ordered it this person's just ordered it so it goes without saying people are actually buying this product and maybe I'm completely missing something here from my point of view and my experience when it comes to fitness and health then these sorts of products tend to be fads and don't really work but make sure you give me your opinion in the comments section below okay let's take a look at the actual creative then see what the product is and what they're claiming to do so i've turned the sound off i'll talk you through it it's basically kind of like a text to speech narrator talking about the this products you can put underneath your chin and will melt away the fat to give you a more sculpted um, and defined like neck muscles and jawline they're talking about to my knowledge this sort of technology doesn't exist and doesn't work i think there's a lot of people which would agree with me based on how many laughing reactions they've had however the ad creative itself is pretty good like it features lots of different people who have tried the product in lots of different settings and locations different age ranges they're clearly featuring the types of people the ideal target market for who they're going after for this product and as we saw in the comments section there's lots of people buying it so Maybe the product does work. Maybe it's the next best thing since sliced bread. However, I'm a bit skeptical myself and I'm a bit dumbstruck how a Facebook ad like this can get this level of traction and this level of reach without flagging any warning signs or red flags from Facebook. So if you've got any insight at all, I'd love to hear it. Um, just leave a comment down below. If I had to give my advice then to somebody selling this product, then I think it would be your time is limited. There will come a point, I am sure of it, where Facebook will catch up to you and shut you down for selling a illegitimate product, if that's the right word, a product that basically is making false claims and doesn't do as it says. However, I don't know if they can actually prove that. So it's one of those kind of gray areas. So in my opinion, stay away from it. However, like I mentioned, a bit of a double-edged sword, even though I recommend staying away from these types of products, it's clear that people are actually buying this thing. Moving on to Facebook ad number two. Um, a really good one you've probably seen this product before it's definitely a proven product it's been sold um, extensively um, again if we take a quick look at the comments in fact we'll start with the engagements so down here i'll try and zoom that in so you can see um, 2.8 million views um, started about two months ago so again 
to get that level of viewership, 700 shares, 3,000 likes, at least 700 comments. It goes without saying they must have made some money from this, otherwise they wouldn't continue to plow more and more into it. So where's at the top here from five days ago? So these are all recent. Um, bought one, showed up in a plastic bag, broken. Um, was told it was in a good condition when it left their warehouse, would not be getting a refund. So not a very reputable company, according, allegedly, um, according to Wes. I've had one of these almost a year and they're still in great shape and work perfectly. So there's a positive review. Michael said he bought this and it never shipped. So good luck to anybody else. Um, Dennis has three of these, two in his house and one to his son and they love them. So by the sounds of it, it is a good product if you can get a good supplier and you stick to your word and people are going to be happy with it when it arrives. So at this point, you might be thinking, why am I featuring this product? It's a decent product. It's just the actual company themselves. Um, let's play the, the actual ad for you as well. So the shower head, I missed that bit, realized common shower heads were making people sick. So again, I mean, I'm not a doctor, so I might be completely way off the mark here, but I'm pretty sure that shower heads don't make people sick. It's probably the water that's coming out of them. So common shower heads are making people sick. I decided to partner with a product engineer to create a groundbreaking shower head. This is the story of Dr. Robert Ballas, and four in five people don't know that water is a major determinant of our health and well-being. That's probably true, however, probably not true um, in the westernized world. After a year of testing my patients with skin and hair problems, I found something shocking. While we are scrubbing, cleansing, exfoliating dirt, these chemicals are responsible to cause an array of health problems from skin to hair. Whether that's coming from the water, again, I'm not a doctor, so um, maybe maybe that's true, maybe it's not. I'm not 100% sure. I'd like to hear what your input is if you put it in the comment section. Aggressive amounts of one chemical called chlorine and they have a reason to do it. So they're talking about chemicals which are used to clean the water. I'm assuming the shower head then removes those chemicals, water impurities to restore skin and hair to its natural luster. A shower head worthy of the 21st century. You need the hydro shower jet with stop button. It looks like a pretty cool product. It's a pretty nice effect. It has an ionic filtration system. So the reason why I wanted to show you this because again it seems all in all like a pretty decent product and people are happy with it when it has actually arrived. However, the claims they're making are quite bold to the point where it's probably misleading people to some degree. However, that's only my personal opinion. I'm not a doctor. This person is if this person is the person behind this brand and this business. The message I wanted to pull across and the reason why I wanted to show this video is just be careful about the claims that you make when you're selling your product especially if they're health related. Moving on to the third and final ad then, before I play it, it there are some, um, what's the way I put it, unpleasant scenes from this one. Um, it's basically like a mouthwash, which they're saying can transform your gums and teeth and things like that. Um, again, let's talk about the engagements. So December 19th to 2022, 30,000 reactions, 11,000 comments, and nearly 7,000 shares. Goes without saying, it's had a significant amount of reach. In fact, what did that, so I'll take this link. Let's take a look at how exactly how many views it's got. So nearly 10 million views. Um, so it goes without saying, people have definitely bought this product. They've probably made a bit of money from it. Um, so far, so good, tastes great, I'm interested. Positive reviews, I'm interested. My teeth are very sensitive, I ordered. Can I use this twice a day? Can I use it with implants? So it might be that the product does what they're claiming, although we'll see in a second. Um, the reason I wanted to show you this is, again, it's one of those health-related things, especially when it comes to teeth, then I don't think you should take any advice from anyone unless it's a professional. And if you mix yourselves with products like this, you open yourself up to lawsuits and extremely unhappy customers, especially if you end up causing some significant damage financially or pain related to a customer because then there's definitely some level of claim or along those lines going to be involved. So let's take a look at the actual creative itself. So you've clearly got something unpleasant here and then that little gift there gave the impression of your gums and your teeth growing back to be healthy and the plaque and everything growing back. So yeah, it's, it's one that eventually Facebook will probably catch up to these guys and say you can't be making those claims or 
implying your product is going to do these sorts of things without any sort of proof. It's just one of those things that I'd probably stay away from because it's not going to be worth the potential backlash that comes with selling a product like this. It probably does make your teeth whiter. However, at least from my own experience speaking to dentists, the only safe way to do that is with proper tested whitening gels and whether this is one of those things i don't know maybe it is however it seems unlikely and so with that being said guys i'm going to wrap the video up there they're the three ones i wanted to show you ultimately the message i wanted you to take away is just be careful about the types of products you're going to be selling especially when they come from china make sure it comes with all the kind of required safety certifications you get it from a reputable supplier and if it's anything that you put in your mouth or put in your skin or has any kind of health related benefit then you you have to be especially careful and I would advise everybody staying away from that sort of thing unless you have experience. If you're a beginner, keep it as simple as possible. There's hundreds if not thousands of great products out there that you don't have any of those worries with. Just to make it clear as well, I didn't want this video to come across as I was bad mouthing these companies. All I'm saying is they're treading, in my opinion, they're treading a thin path. And when it comes to, to my knowledge, what the Facebook advertising policies are, at some point, Facebook is more than likely going to catch up with these guys and ban them from advertising in such a way. And so thanks again for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.